Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and today I'm going to be sharing with you 15 different ideas for self-care gifts for women. So whether this is your sister, your mom, your girlfriend, your wife, your cousin, a friend, whoever it is, this is going to be full of lots of different ideas for self-care gifts. So I've gone a little bit crazy today with the, um, <laughs> I literally never usually do my hair or makeup and today I was like, oh, I'm going to curl my hair and then I did that and I was like, okay, I'm going to cover my spots and then actually I need a bit of blush and I'm going to put on some red lipstick. So I've gone a little bit ham in terms of hair and makeup, but honestly it's nice. I haven't done my hair and makeup probably the whole year, literally. So it's nice to actually make a bit of an effort and take care of myself, which I guess is part of the video as well. So taking care of yourself has obviously been a huge thing this year in 2020 with everybody being stuck inside with the everything going on in the world, I'm not going to mention it. Um, so I feel like self-care has become quite a big part of people's lives. Um, whether that's, you know, getting dressed up and doing your hair and makeup or whether that's just kind of running a nice bath for yourself. Whatever it is, I feel like self-care has really kind of taken over this year. So I've put together a list of 15 different things that you could buy from Amazon for that person in your life who needs to look after themselves a tiny bit more. So the first idea is this L'Occitane Cocon de Serenity. <laughs> My best French accent. It's Cocoon of, well, Serenity cocoon of serenity I guess it translates as relaxing candle I think this is such a beautiful idea I bet it smells incredible these are about $30 you can either buy them on the L'Occitane website or obviously in their shops but I have linked it down below everything I've linked by the way is from Amazon so it's super easy to do some shopping um, obviously Amazon usually has next day delivery and it's I feel like everyone has Amazon so that's the first idea. I thought it could be nice for people who like to have baths and kind of have a candle lit and read a book or people even, you know, like to set candles when they're eating dinner or relaxing, you know, in bed, that kind of thing. I think something that smells really nice and relaxing and calming is such a nice one for this time of year anyway. But especially, like I said, I feel like in 2020 people are looking after themselves a little bit more and trying to just find the little things in life that bring them joy and a nice smelling candle could be that. So the next idea is an essential oil diffuser. Now I got one of these for my husband Jeremy last December and we actually use it quite regularly. I wouldn't say we use it every single night but at least probably two or three times a week we'll have it on before we go to bed or even sometimes during the night as well. And these are so beautiful. So you can get some that have um, music on there. They obviously diffuse the oil and some of them also have lights. So if you get one that kind of does all three, I've linked one below in the description box. These are such a nice way to kind of calm the atmosphere and calm your cells and kind of chill out a little bit. Like I said, we use ours before bed, like kind of reading in bed, that kind of thing, or also overnight. But obviously you could also use this when you're meditating, when you're doing yoga, when you're in the bath as well. Just any time when you really want to relax and chill and be zen. I feel like having something that kind of has some nice relaxing music, some nice colours and some nice smells. It's kind of three of three or four. It's smell, noise and sight. So it's three of your senses in one. So it's quite a nice kind of all-rounder. And it's a really nice gift as well. It's something that people don't necessarily buy for themselves. I actually got my friend one as well. She lives in England, but I got her one this year because she was kind of going through it a little bit and struggling with some personal things and struggling to sleep so I sent her one of these with some essential oils and she loves it so again that's two people now gifted this and they both loved it and it's, I just think it's a really nice gift it's not something you might necessarily buy yourself but it is something that I feel like once you have maybe you don't want to live without anymore um, so that's definitely number two I just think it's a really great idea and you can also get ones with a remote control again the one I've linked has got a remote control so you don't have to physically like get out of bed to turn it off or on kind of thing which I think is good and they also automatically turn off so if you do leave it on overnight it's not going to kind of burn the house down or anything it will automatically turn off with timers or also some of them turn off when they've run out of water so you really don't have to worry in terms of safety things like that they are really safe and they're really amazing so I just really think these are great you could also use them in the office I know a lot of people now are working from home and have converted like a spare room or you know the garage or whatever into an office space so this could be really nice for the office to kind of chill out and try and get your work done in peace you know with kind of nice smells and sounds and things I just think that honestly is such a nice gift and the one that I've recommended down in the description box is about $30 so it's really not expensive but it is something like I said that somebody might use a couple of times a week probably even every day so it's something that will get used and it's not just kind of a one time like oh that was fun waste of money kind of present if that makes sense so I think that's a really nice one to get somebody. Now obviously to go with that you do need a couple of essential oils. Um, I'll link the one that I bought if I can find it but I'll also link the one that I'm looking at right now. It's a set of 18 aromatherapy oils and this is about $25, $26. So if you were to get the two of them together that could be a little bit more expensive but if you have siblings maybe you could split the cost or friends or whatever try and group together and get somebody this. I think it is such a nice gift honestly and especially giving lots of different scents. I feel like then people can figure out which smells they like and you can use different ones for different occasions. So for example 
you might I mean I don't know a whole lot about <laughs> essential oils but you might want to use something like peppermint in the morning to get you kind of wide awake and you know energized for the day and then you might want to use lavender to go to sleep or you might want to use tangerine when you're meditating whatever it is I feel like it's really nice to get people a, like a selection so they can decide what they want to use there and then like kind of on that day the one that I got for Jeremy was a pack of kind of pre-mixed oils so there's one like meditation and sleep and clear mind and this and that and that's kind of different oils mixed together um even though we enjoy that i do wish i'd kind of bought the individual ones because sometimes i do just want a lavender to go to sleep so i think this is honestly a nice idea and people can mix their own as well they can kind of put in a couple of drops of lavender a couple of drops of eucalyptus this and that and kind of make their own concoctions depending on what they want that day so i feel like a really good selection of essential oils is kind of um I don't know, I think it's a really nice gift. Even if you don't get the diffuser as well, you can use these, obviously, you can put droplets on your pillow before you go to sleep, you can use them in the bath, you can use them on your wrist. If they're like pure essential oils, you can use them on your body. I think you can even ingest them, but I don't wanna say that in case I'm wrong. Um, obviously do some research on essential oils, but you can use them in lots of different ways rather than just the oil diffuser as well. So this next one I'm recommending, I actually bought for my mum for Christmas, I hope she doesn't watch this video. Mum, if you're watching, just skip this section. <laughs> um, but it's Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream Oil. Now, I've never used Elizabeth Arden before, but I've seen so many bloggers and influencers talking about the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream and how it's kind of game changing, especially in winter. And I thought an oil could be really, really nice. So I recently bought an oil because when I get out of the shower after shaving, my legs get particularly dry. So I bought an oil just to kind of rub on my legs and it's really nice to kind of give yourself that self massage and kind of, I think it's like an Ayurveda massage thing. Um, but it's really nice just to spend an extra couple of minutes kind of with yourself and not like in a sexual way, but just, I don't know, just massaging oil on yourself. And this one can be used on your face. Um, on your body and also in your hair. So this is a great one to kind of, if you curl your hair, I talked about this by the way in my vlog that's coming out tomorrow about how I curled my hair and how I kind of get this, these big curls. So that's in the video coming tomorrow, my vlog coming tomorrow. Um, but I use the hair oil in there to kind of define the curls a little bit and I feel like an oil like this would be perfect for that but it's also multifunctional because you can use it obviously for your legs once you've shaved, you could use it on your face in the evenings before you go to bed. I just think something like this is such a luxury and it's such a lovely gift to give somebody and something they will use for lots of different occasions and hopefully all year round as well. So it's a nice indulgent present, it's not something that you might necessarily buy for yourself, it might be a little bit expensive for some people. This one is about $28 so it's not cheap but it's also not expensive. I mean the one that I bought is that typical, what is it, like Palmer's, the cocoa butter one, I think it's about $10. So it's kind of three times the price, so it's a little bit luxury, but I feel like it's, it's something, like I said, you can use on your face, your body, and on your hair. So it's kind of an all-rounder, so I think that's a really, really lovely gift to give somebody, especially somebody who is into kind of skincare and, you know, hair care and things. I think they'll appreciate the Elizabeth Arden name tag, and hopefully it's a really nice product as well. So next up are these five notebooks. I found these as I was kind of looking for some sort of journal idea and I thought these are really cute because they're kind of the five different and I think that's a really nice idea and they're $17 which again is a fairly decent price and I just thought these are really really great. So these are the Amazon Basics Bonded Leather Journals in five colours. So these are lined. Um, I think it's nice having a selection of notebooks because I'm personally a notebook kind of gal. <laughs> I have so many. I think it's nice to have one, for example, for your dreams. When you wake up in the morning, you can write down what you dreamt about. You can have one as a to-do list. You can have one for your aspirations in life. You can have a gratitude journal and you can have one for your shopping list for your food, for example. I think it's nice to kind of get five that are all different, but all the same as well. So they're very aesthetic. They look very nice on your home desk, um, but also very practical. I mean, who doesn't use a notebook apart from Jeremy? <laughs> um, I don't know. I just feel like it's such a nice one and because they're all different and quite cute and quirky almost as well it's quite a nice design aspect which i think is cute as well um so it's fairly affordable 17 dollars. i think that's a nice sort of price again it's super practical and something that people will use for lots of different things hopefully um yeah so i thought that was a nice one so next up back to our kind of self-care things is this body shop trio of hand creams so this includes one that's almond milk and honey one that's strawberry and the other one is Shea Butter. So this is a pack of three, and I think it's a really nice way to try a brand that you might not be familiar with, and also to get a couple of different products in one. So rather than just buying one large hand cream, this way they get to test three different creams and kind of see which one they like for future reference. Um, I think this is such a nice gift, and I love the wrapping as well, the kind of packaging of it with the Christmas decorations. You know, it's super Christmassy and festive, and it's something that you could, you know, if you open on Christmas Day, it'd be so nice. Um, 
again, I think this is good for any ages as well, kind of from teenagers up until kind of adults as well. I feel like any kind of woman within that range would love to have something like this under the Christmas tree. So this is around $15. Again, it's such a nice gift and something that could be a stocking stuffer if you're into that or part of a main present as well. I just think it's a really nice kind of alternative and something, again, that you might not necessarily purchase for yourself, but you would really appreciate receiving on Christmas Day. Okay, next up, I've never actually tried these, but they look great. So these are the Jade Roller and the Gua Sha, I believe it's called. And these are kind of beauty tools that you'd use on your face. So once you take your makeup off and cleanse your face and everything, you'd put some oil or serum on your face and use these rollers to try and kind of um, tighten the skin, get rid of wrinkles, get rid of the toxins in your face and your skin. And the roller one, you kind of roll up and down and the smaller size you would roll under your eye. And then the gua sha, which is kind of the shaped one, you'd kind of run along your jawline, along your neck, different, you know, on your cheeks and things. These look like such a lovely item. Again, I've never tried them myself, <laughs> but it is something that I think would be so nice for people who are into beauty and into skincare and into kind of self-love things. It's kind of, you know, taking that time to massage your face is something that people don't tend to do. So it's something to kind of, it's nice to encourage people, I guess, to do that and just take that time for themselves and do something that would be, first of all, beneficial for their beauty and kind of their wrinkles and face and all the rest of it, which isn't really the reason that I would recommend it. It's more so that people can kind of spend the extra time on themselves and to do something that might feel nice and just to kind of look after yourself. I think it's nice to promote self-love. So that's that one and that is $17. Again, linked below, everything's from Amazon, so super easy to shop. And so my next suggestion is a shower gel. And I know that shower gels sometimes get a bad rap because it can just be like an easy, like whatever, just get them smellies, we used to call them. I don't know if people call them smellies or if that's like an English thing. But I feel like if you get something like Molten Brown, it's a really, really luxurious product to receive on Christmas. Again, it's not something that people might necessarily buy for themselves. I feel like when you buy a product for yourself in like a shower gel, for example, you kind of just go for the cheapest option, whatever will do, you know, all that will do, it's cheap. Whereas you wouldn't necessarily spend $32, which this one is, on a shower gel for yourself. And it's so nice to receive things like this that are like luxurious and something you wouldn't usually get. I think that's the kind of, the nice thing about Christmas is you, you can give gifts to people that they wouldn't usually buy themselves, but they would absolutely love to receive. So this one is the Jasmine and Sun Rose Bath and Shower Gel. I think I'll link two or three below just because they have a couple of different scents and I think depending on who you're buying for, um, some people might not be into the flowery scent, some people might be more into an earthy scent or whatever it is, so I'll link a couple down below. Again, I think this is such a nice gift for somebody who maybe doesn't put themselves first all the time, maybe they look after somebody or they always put everybody else first. It's really nice to give something so that they can take that time for themselves and actually really enjoy the bath or the shower and do something that's kind of luxurious and a little bit spa-like whilst also staying at home. Okay, so next up is nail varnish, and I painted my nails yesterday. Again, I talked about this in my vlog that's coming tomorrow. So I use this brand called Eternal. I'm using the shade Zero, and I think it's like Toffee Coffee, and it's this really beautiful kind of pinky nude shade. Now, I just think this is such a nice idea to kind of... I honestly haven't painted my nails all year. I really don't think I've painted them since last year. So to spend some time last night to kind of chop them and get them in the shape that I want and then paint them. Like I keep looking at them today being like, oh, that's so nice. I can't believe I've done that for myself. And it's silly because it's just painting your nails, but it's something I haven't done in so long. Again, like curling my hair and putting makeup on. It's something I haven't done all year because I feel like a lot of people haven't really done that this year. So I feel like something like nail varnish is something that people can, you know, sit at home and like watch a Christmas film and just do their nails. It's nice, relaxing and calming and therapeutic. And obviously kind of self-care centered as well. It's not about impressing the boys or impressing your husband. Like Jeremy literally couldn't give a shh if I had pink nail varnish or not. But for me, I'm like, oh my God, that's so pretty. I just feel so nice with it on. And I think that's what's the best thing about these self-care products is to get something that somebody can do for themselves and feel really positive and happy afterwards. So I'd recommend these nail varnishes. They're really, really nice. Um, I couldn't find this exact shade on Amazon, but I did find one called Nude. It's $5.99. Again, it's linked below. This looks like a really, really lovely neutral colour that would go with all different skin tones. And I just think it's a real classic. Again, it can go for like any age, like kids, probably, maybe not kids. <laughs> I think they'd probably want pinks and bright colours. But I feel like kind of older teenagers up until adulthood, I mean, a nude is perfect for kind of any age um, across the board. So this one's a little bit darker than the one I recommended down below. But I think just any nail varnishes, honestly, especially nudes, I feel like you can't go wrong with a nice nude nail varnish. 
Okay, so next up is a face mask, and I found this one by Origins. This is unisex, so it can be for any gender, for anybody. Um, but this is the retexturizing mask with rose clay, and I thought this could be quite fun. I usually quite like the Origins products because they're very natural and good for your skin, and kind of I think they're toxic, you know, free of all the toxins and all the kind of rubbish that people do put in skincare. So this could be a really nice purchase. This is currently on sale actually for $32.95 from $34.97, so it's only $2 off. But again, it will be linked below. Um, but I just think something like this, again, it's nice to try different skincare products as well. And as somebody who, I kind of enjoy that kind of thing, but not, I'm not crazy about it, but it's nice to try different products. And sometimes you don't want to buy a full size product without testing it first. Um, so something like this where it's $30, you might think, oh, I don't want to spend $30 because I don't even know if I'm going to enjoy it or not. So this is a nice opportunity to gift somebody a face mask or a product that they don't already have so they can test it out without the guilt of spending that money if they don't like it, if that makes sense. Even though I'm sure they would like it because the Origins is a really nice brand to go for. Um, they do have a couple of different options as well. They have also a clear improvement charcoal mask and an intensive overnight mask. They have a couple of different options. Um, I'll link all three of those down below as well. But I think, again, just something like this, it's such a nice gift that, again, somebody might not purchase for themselves. So next up is a silk scrunchie. Now this might sound super bougie, <laughs> um, and it kind of is, I'll be honest, but I think these are such a nice idea, especially if you're doing face masks and things like the previous one. You know, something to put your hair up is ideal. And silk scrunchies are perfect for that because they are so good on your hair. So rather than having a normal hair tie or hair bubble that can kind of snag your hair and leave you with split ends and pull your hair, silk scrunchies are perfect to kind of, I think they're super soft and they don't break your hair, they don't leave it kind of damaged or anything. And I think in terms of putting it up, it doesn't leave a kink in your hair. Now I haven't tested these myself, but this brand Slip is one of the most popular ones. They have a couple of different colour options, but I really like this pink, champagne and black option. I think it's really nice to get a pack of three. Now these are a little bit more expensive. These are $39 for three scrunchies, which might sound insane. It kind of is, but it also, you know, if it's protecting your hair and it's going to you know, keep your hair from getting split ends and things, I kind of think it's worth the money. Now there are lots of different options on Amazon, but also on Etsy, if you want to have a look in there, probably Sephora I would imagine as well. Um, so there are different options, but I found this one by Slip that I think is really, really lovely. I do think if you go for something like this, I would recommend finding Mulberry Silk. They seem to be the highest quality. I think there are brands that are doing kind of satin silk, and I think... I mean, I'm not an expert, I don't know, but I imagine because that's kind of more made out of plasticky materials, I'm not sure how good that would actually be. I think if you're going to do it, you may as well get something that is actually mulberry silk and it's going to be really, really good for your hair rather than a kind of fake knockoff cheap version, if that makes sense. Um, so I will leave this one and maybe one or two other ones in the description box below as well so you can have a look and see the ones that I found. So next up is a hair mask, and again, it's something you might not necessarily buy for yourself, but something that would be really nice to receive. Um, this one, I can't figure out the brand, oh it's OGX Store, so that's the brand OGX, but this is an Argan Oil of Morocco hair mask, so it's going to be super nourishing, super moisturising, super conditioning, really really great for dry hair, um, so I think something like this is really nice, it's kind of like an easy present as well, kind of a stocking stuff or something that you can add to maybe a face mask and the scrunchies, you know, get a couple of things together, it's kind of like a beauty self care box maybe, I think that could be a nice idea. But this one is $8.99, again from Amazon. Okay, so the next thing I found is a silk eye mask. Now this can be used, again, in the bath when you're relaxing, or it can be used in bed if you just kind of want to have on an oil diffuser or a candle, some nice music, and kind of just relax and not quite, I mean, you can use it for sleeping, obviously, but I think it's nice as well just to have something on your eyes to kind of keep them closed and get all the, the light out of your eyes, if that makes sense. It's really nice to kind of block out all of that light and all of that just distraction and just relax. I feel like this could also be nice for people who do yoga because I know that at the end of yoga a lot of people do shavasana and it's a nice way to relax again but sometimes, I mean I find it really hard to do shavasana because I can't just lay still so I think something like this could be nice to kind of keep my eyes closed and like no you don't have a choice, you can't open your eyes and look around and get distracted you kind of have to keep your eyes closed so I think that could be a really nice one again like the hair scrunchies though, go for something that is mulberry silk go for something that's really nice and soft on the skin especially if it's going around the eyes, you don't really want like a cotton or a linen or something that's going to be scratchy I feel like a silk would be lovely. Now I found this one, it comes in different colours. My favourite is this pinky tone, um, but they do also have a dark blue, a black and white stripe, black, 
and the peacock blue is really nice as well but I think my favourite is the pink colour um, again this could be good for any ages I think it's just something nice for the people see I don't know if they would use it every single day but I feel like to relax and to really kind of chill out in the bath or chill out in bed and have like I was saying essential oils going maybe listen to an audio book something like that it's a really nice way just to relax and to be zen if that makes sense so that was that one the next one is a little bit different, I'll be honest, but this is affirmation cards. Now, I was looking for, I can't remember what I was looking for on Amazon the other day, and this got suggested to me, and I thought, oh, this is really interesting. I could see myself buying these for a couple of my friends. These ones in particular are beautiful. I think the text is really nice and easy to read, because one of them was pretty, but you couldn't, it was really quite hard to read the text. Whereas this one, the text is really easy to use. They have beautiful kind of illustrations, drawings, paintings, that kind of thing. I just think it is so pretty and this would be perfect for people who maybe are a little bit stressed or people who like to journal and um, do gratitude journaling and all that kind of, you know, into that kind of self-care stuff. I feel like something like this could be a really nice gift for people to kind of open up in the mornings and see their affirmation for the day. Um, I'm not super into affirmations just because I don't, I don't, I don't think I really quite get it. Like in yoga they always say, what's your intention for the day? And I'm always like, I have no idea what that means. But I think something like this is a nice way to guide people. So some of them, for example, say things like, my future is an ideal projection of what I envision now. Um, another one is, I am in perfect balance. Another one, I am at peace with my past. Um, another one, I let go of all expectations. So they're just really nice affirmations that you could kind of, you know, to start your day and be like, oh wow, okay, I feel strong and powerful and happy today. So I think that's a really, really lovely gift for somebody who's kind of into all that thing. Um, but even probably for people who kind of aren't into that, I think it could be still a nice one to offer them maybe get them started on that kind of self-help, whatever it is, self-development journey, who knows. And the last one, I'm saving the best till last again, <laughs> this is a heated throw blanket. Now, I had these in England and France when I lived there, and they were my best friend. I literally, especially in winter time, I would not, like, do anything without my heated blankets, constantly on the couch, covered up nice and snug and warm. So basically, it's a blanket that you plug into the mains electricity, and it heats up. Now these things are genius, especially for obviously winter time, but for laying on the couch, watching Christmas films, Christmas day, but also laying in bed and snuggling and that kind of thing. I just think these are so, so lovely. So I found this one that is $53. They have it in this beautiful, it's called Garnet, Garnet. It's like a deep red, which I think would be really lovely for Christmas. And they also have a really lovely color called gold. That's a kind of honey color. I think either of these two would be so, so lovely to receive on Christmas Day to get nice and snuggly and stay nice and warm as well if you don't have a fire especially. This is a nice way to stay warm without kind of being in bed. You can be on the couch in your pyjamas and have this nice blanket with your hot chocolate and I don't know, I just think they're lovely. So these are $50, so a little bit more expensive, but something that again I think would last for years and something that would come, you know, would be used every single year for probably months at a time. So yeah, that was my 15 ideas. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up, that really, really helps me out. Make sure you subscribe for more videos, as I have lots more Christmas content to come. And let me know in the comment section below, which of these would you purchase for yourself? As it's all about self-care and self-love, what would you buy for yourself? Okay, thank you for watching, and I will see you very soon. Bye!